This is part five of a series to introduce the eight thinking maps. I'll be releasing one video each day. Subscribe to get notified. Use a brace map when you want to show the parts of a whole. Start with the whole item on the left side and break it into parts on the right side. Let's explore how we could break the Excolitro Obsidian plugin to its parts. I'll start by adding my Excolitro icon and the left brace from my stencil library. So, Excolidraw has a drawing canvas. It has a toolbar at the top. There is a context sensitive properties panel on the left. It has a zoom and undo redo tool at the bottom and a built in help. In addition to these core Excolidraw components, the plugin offers a couple of additional ones, such as the buttons in the title bar and the Excolidraw actions in the command palette. In turn, the title bar buttons include the options menu with some additional function. One of these functions is the switch to markdown mode. Switching to markdown mode, there is the front matter at the top of the document and the sections of the document such as text elements, embedded files and the drawing. You could break down the toolbar into the lock, the core tools, and the stencil library. Then the canvas could also be broken down to components such as the right-click context menu, which could feature different actions depending on the selected element on screen. And I almost forgot about the Excolidraw plugin settings, which features lots of options to choose from, plus the markdown features in the editor such as links, transclusions, and the support for LaTeX formulas, though you could argue LaTeX should rather be placed under the command palette. Finally, links can be internal links and internet links. This concludes the introduction of the brace map that you can use to explore the parts of a whole. In the next video, I will cover the flow map. Don't forget to subscribe so you are notified when part 6 is released. Thank you for watching.